as I understand it, uh, the negative energy that's all around us is sucked into the organite. Why? Because the resin is made of carbon. It's an attractor. It attracts the ne negative energy, but since there's a metal matrix inside, metal shavings or BBs or whatever, any metal, the metal repels it. So you have attraction repulsion at very high frequencies. The smaller the metal particles, the stronger the OG gets. Why? Because volumetrically, the smaller the metal is, like metal powder, for a cubic centimeter of metal powder, you have a greater volume than a cubic centimeters of bigger metal flakes. That's why if I had access to metal powder, that's all I would use. But it's not necessary. It works with the metal that I get from your dad. It's small enough. Like I used to use much larger metal as you saw some of my old OGs. They all work. So the metal, the carbon, the organic attracts the negativity. The metal repulses it, and you have a crystal inside this. The crystal has the ability to transmute this chaotic energy, smooth it out, balance it out, and out comes a smooth, positive, life-affirming, life-enhancing energy. It's the crystal inside the metal matrix. So there's, there's stuff going on here which we cannot comprehend. Crystals have an ability. We, don't, we know a lot about crystals. We don't know everything about crystals. That's why Atlantis was based on giant crystals. And they think there's a giant crystal in the Bermuda Triangle down below, which is part of Atlantis, before it broke off. And that's why ships and planes and disappear occasionally never to be seen again. No bits found in the water, just like they're sucked out into another reality. Crystals by themselves are beneficial. That's why the pe people who set up crystal grids or collect crystals, they will do certain things to clean them because crystals attract negativity and it's stuck onto the crystals. So every once in a while, you have to take your crystals and leave them overnight on a full moon outside because the object of the orgone is a self-cleaning mechanism. It deals, its purpose is to deal with negative energy. It transforms negative energy into, po into positive energy. It's self-cleaning, yeah. Because by the nature of how it's constructed, its purpose is to, to cleanse and neutralize negative energy, which it sucks in. That's why it's, it's so wonderful. What a wonderful device, you see? And they persecuted uh, Don Croft. They tried to kill him many times. And he started building anti, he, he knew how to build orgone generators that would send strong negative energy in their direction and mess them up too. And that saved him, I'm, I'm sure. You wouldn't believe the, ex the, 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 the lengths he went to to fight the dark forces that were trying to neutralize him, to, to get him to stop mm. building and talking about organite. Mm. And then uh, a guy in Africa picked it up in South, in South Africa. I forget his name now, I haven't thought of him in, in, in years now. And he's gone all over Africa and, and built uh, uh, orgone generators and they throw it in rivers and throw it in lakes and 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 spread even in Namibia in the dry driest area in south western Africa in the tip of southwestern Africa in Namibia and people have built uh, orgone generators with very simple devices with just cement and it works but you can always make them work better if you have the materials a child can make them. It takes 
It takes only your determination you're going to do it because it's one of the few things that you can screw up 100% and it will still work. It will look ugly, it will look like a failure. If you've got a crystal and you've got metal and you've got it all hardened in a mix with resin, it's going to work. It doesn't have to be a pyramid, doesn't have to be any particular shape, can be a rough ball, whatever, it will work. You cannot go wrong making an OG. Go where there are some rocks and you'll see the white veins, anything white sticking out of an igneous rock. A lot of the pebbles take a hammer and smash it open and the bits that has the white crystal, crystalline, pick up those pieces and use that and save yourself some money. You don't have to buy fancy crystals. Stone, it will give off good energy because it's made of crystals. Right. Here's, here's a chunk that was found. Look at all the crystals inside it. It's mostly crystal. It is covered by some rock or stuff. Did you find this? Yeah. Where? It's uh, Oh, I don't know. I've had it for years. I can't remember. Mm. So you go out looking for these? Or? I don't specifically, but when I am out, I'm always looking on the ground. Mm. I'm always looking at rocks. And crystal is everywhere. It's one of the common elements on terra firma, on Earth. They're all around you. It's, it's just you, all you re require is a hammer. I'll, sh I'll show you some downstairs. Sometimes you can find rocks. Find rocks that are entirely made of crystals. And they've been rounded over millions of years by waters. They're tumbled, they're nice and smooth, you know? And they're totally crystalline. You don't even have to smash them open. But if you want smaller pieces, yeah, you can always find a rock and chop them into smaller pieces. Put your intention that you're going to use them for beneficial, for positive purposes, you know? Bless them and it'll be fine.